Hey, what's up? Theo here from movementtheory.com. This week's topic is hamstring flexibility. The benefits of flexible hamstrings include reduced risk of injuries, prevention of low back pain, buttock pain, or hip pain, and increased athletic potential. The hamstrings are a group of muscles that run down the back of your thigh. These three hamstring muscles, your bicep femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus, are responsible for extending the hip and flexing the knee. Pulled hamstrings are often caused by tightness and an insufficient warm-up. So I want to dedicate this segment of the week to helping you restore the natural length out of those hamstrings and give you a proper warm-up to keep them healthy. The first video of this three-part segment on hamstring flexibility, I will be covering a hamstring release. Releasing tension within these muscles is paramount for increasing flexibility. Tension within these muscles and tissues is often caused from excessive sitting and overuse of the muscles. So when tension exists within the muscles, it will start to pull on bo bones and joints and position them out of alignment. And that's usually how injuries occur. So let me go into a release and show you exactly how to eliminate these knots. For this release technique, I'm going to be utilizing a lacrosse ball and a bench with a hard surface. Get into a seated position so the back of your thigh is completely flat on the bench. Place the lacrosse ball on the upper portion of the hamstring near the insertion underneath the gluteal fold. Find a sensitive area and drop your chest forward. This is going to help expose those muscles and tissues and stretch them out while you apply pressure. Grab the sides of the bench and pull yourself into the ball for additional pressure. Once the pain subsides, move the ball into the middle, meteor portion of the back of the thigh. You can bounce up and down on the ball to expose the sensitivity and dysfunction within the muscle. Once you found an area that is uncomfortable, leave it there and we're going to go into now an active release. Now bring your leg up and extend the knee to really stretch that, those hamstring muscles. If you feel like you're getting a stretch in the calf, point your toe downward to deactivate that calf muscle and increase the release within the hamstrings. You can also rotate your foot inward or outward to expose more tender spots. Hold it there for a couple seconds until you feel the muscle relax and then drop your leg back down so your knee is in a flex position and repeat that process on a different more sensitive area within the muscles. Work your way all the way down to just before that knee joint. Avoid any rounding within the sh shoulders and mid back by keeping your shoulders retracted and your thoracic spine in an extended position. It's important to note that our body's muscle systems work together. Tight hamstrings can be associated with having tight hip flexor muscles. Tight hip flexor muscles can weaken the glutes, causing your hamstrings to overcompensate. So be sure to check out movementtheory.com and gather some more information on, on how to release those hip flexor muscles. Also, please like this video and subscribe to my Movement Theory YouTube channel.